morning all welcome back this is saranan vajravel from one touch bi today i came up with another interesting tips or i would say error prevention configuration setting what is that many of you might already aware of this if those who are not here you will learn right away wait 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 before that let me brief the problem statement in production you consistently encounter sometimes the error dpr dash err dash 2072 unable to load balance a request with absolute affinity most likely due to a failure to connect to the remote dispatcher the cause is simple you attempt to run the large report that by default stores the temporary cache results into a server file system that intermittently fails due to network latency or disk latency how do you overcome this problem let's quickly head over to the cogno screen to see how do we avoid this problem let's log into the cogno portal it's one touch bi dot acr.com9401 is my port and bi is the portal and now my cogno screen has come now you need to go to manage administration console now you go to the status tab and click on systems now under system click on the drop down icon next to system and choose set properties go to the settings tab in the category you choose tuning once you have chosen the tuning setting you increase the entry to view in a single screen by default it is 15 you make it bigger so that we don't need to uh, click next and go to the next page so let me make it to the bigger number let's say 60 and click on this icon so that it will list all 60 entries the setting what we need to change over here is the third entry temporary object location can you see here temporary object location so i have already stated the error is because of the network latency so we need to change the drop down selection from server file system to content store that's it for the problem dp or error 2072 the solution is changing the temporary object location from server file system to content store that fixes the problem what exactly it does on changing the server file system to content store instead of storing the temporary cache result to the network drive now you are redirecting the temporary cache result to be stored in the content store database of course content store database or in general database is more reliable wait 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 now someone might have a question that the moment you redirect the cache results to the content store db my content store db might swell bigger is that not going to cause a problem on the database side on the content store metadata db your question is valid and that's the reason by default the temporary objects lifetime we have a setting over here the default is 4 hours at any given day maximum of 4 hours the temporary cache result will be preserved in the content store db anything which exceeds 4 hours automatically it will be purged out or wiped out or erased out so you don't worry on that and this setting will be more reliable 
and second by changing this uh, dynamically from server file system to content store it doesn't need Cognos restart just do the setting and click OK and before I move on to the uh, conclusion I want to make one more change that is Still, it's not benefiting. So what I do, I go for increasing this value to 80. So that I will get everything in single screen. Still, I'm not finding it. The next setting, what I want to change is this one. Initial JVM heap size, which is by default set to 1024, and the JVM heap size limit is set to 8192. It is in MB by default, that means 1 GB to 8 GB. I would like to quickly show a little reference uh, the mathematics table what I refer for the better optimization. I would recommend if anyone who has the the minimum configuration 4 core 32 gig RAM in that case I would request your initial JVM heap size for query service should be updated from 1 GB to 4 GB the minimum and the JVM heap size limit make sure it was set to 8 gig by default it was 8 gig I'm just asking you to make sure that it is 8 gig memory settings <coughs> So with that, I switch back to the Cognos screen. So I have ensured that it was set to uh, 1024. I'm changing to 4096. That is 4 gig RAM. And the moment I do a change, it clearly says that uh, you need to do a query service restart. Yes, we will do that. So now you did a setting 4096. That is 4 GB RAM and the other one is 8 GB RAM. And in the top, we made a change from server file system to content store. Once you ensure that all settings in place, you are good to go. Click OK. Once you are done the settings, what we noticed, once you change the JVM memory from 1 gig to 4 gig, you need to make sure the query service got restarted. So let's restart the query service. So how do you restart the query service? It's simple. You know till here how to come. So over here what I did, I just clicked on further the dispatcher level. Then it lists me all the services running inside. Here you will uh, figure out the query service. Just next to the query service, click on the drop down icon and stop immediately. The existing query service you have to stop and then start the service. That is what restart means. So now I stopped. It shows that succeeded. Make sure that the service is partially available. That indicates it stopped. Let's start the service. Now you got the message succeeded. Click OK. Now it is back available. Now what is the second step? You have done a change at the dispatcher level from server file system to content store. And then you change the JVM configuration. For the JVM configuration, we have taken the necessary step, query service restart. But for the server file system to content store, you need to stop the dispatcher and start the dispatcher as like you did for the query service. Let's do that step. So just go one level up here and this is your dispatcher. What I'm going to do, I will stop the dispatcher, stop immediately. Succeeded, partially available. Now you start the service. Succeeded, it's back and next make sure you refresh the report service connection 
as part of this exercise it's mandatory that you need to refresh the report service in case any of the report services in between uh, stuck so that we will ensure that it's a clean restart we are kind of making so now i'm going to click refresh report service connection yes i'm done that step two and third clear the cache if any cache is there in the system the last step is to ensure that your dispatcher is running success in order to do that just click on the drop down on the dispatcher click test once you click test you get the message succeeded we are good with that i'm going to end the session for today i'll meet you again with the next presentation till then it's Sarvanan Vajravel signing off from OneTouch BI.